on, Mike, because it's always something. It is always some secret or some story or some lie. It's you don't understand. I don't understand you what. You don't understand what I have been through. You don't understand what I have lost. Because it's everything. Everyone that I love. Trevor, my grandmother, Harvey, now probably this job. I am not ready to lose you. Not today. Then tell me. I never went to Harvard. What? I'm a fraud. You got into Harvard, dickhead. They accepted my transfer. Yeah, they did. Holy goddamn shit. Wait a minute. You read my mail? Well, what's the point of going through it if I'm not gonna read it? I hate you. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. We gotta oh, celebrate. Yeah. Come on, where was... What? Totally not cool, man. Of her or of you? Never. Whoa! Hey, excuse me! Our house, our rules, asshole. Oh! Douchebag. <laughs> Forget him. No, I can't. First week, freshman year, I was playing basketball. He showed up with three of his buddies. I go up for a layup, comes in, lays me out. Stands over me and says, what are you gonna do about it? I let it go. I'm not letting it go this time. Let's roll. Full house. Four fours, asshole. Whoa, wait, wait, that's not possible. He had... <laughs> He's cheating. And what are you gonna do about it? You're not gonna get away with this. Well, I guess your only option would be to uh, call the police. Of course, I haven't been drinking because you know I'm underage, like you boys. You set us up. Yeah. See, I remember you. First week you come into class, Mr. Oh, I got the whole textbook memorized. I mean, the rest of us look like chumps. Now, you did that all by yourself. Yeah, well, I don't need a super brain. Remember, some guy who thinks shit don't stink. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Dude. Now, get the hell out of here before we put you out of here. It's a little early for batting cages, don't you think? I'm not going to the batting cages and you know it. Trevor, let it go. I can't. I need that money back. What did you do? Haven't paid for the weed yet. You took a loan from a drug dealer? It's called consignment. Didn't you ever learn about free enterprise and Econ 1A? No, but I read about not betting money I don't have in Econ 1A. You told me you had him, smart guy. I did have him, and you know I did. Well, I need $1,000 by Monday or Omar's gonna beat the living shit out of Trevor. Him kicking your ass doesn't get him his money any faster. He's okay? not gonna see it that way. Okay, then we will think of something else. Yeah, I've been thinking. The only thing I came up with, you're not going to like. Why do I have to like you? Because I can't do it. I told you before, I'm not selling any test answers. There's not any test. It's the test you just aced. It's not out there yet. Nobody has it. I can make us a thousand bucks in one shot. Tell me you haven't memorized every question and every answer, Harvard boy. That's what this is about, isn't it? So what if it is? Look, you're bolting, and you're using your brain to do it. I'm just asking before you go, use it to help me. Please. Don't move. Where's Omar? That's Omar. How is that Omar? He... He's obsessed with the wire. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on. I'm telling you, he's no joke. Yeah, well, I know I'm supposed to be scared, but I'm really not. Don't touch anything. Now, unless my calendar's messed up, today be Monday. Oh, Mark. Shut up. OK, I'm trying to decide why I shouldn't call a couple of hard, pipe-hitting Negroes to come and work on you with a pair of pliers and a blowtorch. <laughs> I'm sorry, Omar, I don't, I don't have a reason. But I, I think the word you be looking for isn't Negro. 
you're gonna quote Pulp Fiction, at least have the balls to quote Pulp Fiction. Oh my. <laughs> You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? Royale with cheese, motherfucker. I love this Negro! Yeah. <laughs> Trevor, you're off the hook. Never again. Oh. This be for you. Not white boy. Go in peace. Whoa. Uh, okay. Hey, thank you. Mm-hmm. Who touched my alien? What the hell is wrong oh, with you? Come on, it's nothing that some of this in a Royale with cheese can't fix. You do not know what we just avoided. Uh, just call me the wolf. I'll be over there directly. <laughs> oh, you sending the wolf? Oh, shit, Negro. That's all you had to say. <laughs> Yo, put that away. What? Put what away? If they find it, it's mine. Trevor Evans? Yes, officers. Come with us? Wait, hey, wait, what's going on? Well, your friend here seems to be involved in selling the answers to a stolen test. Okay, out with it. Drop the hammer. They know Trevor isn't in the class. So they know he couldn't have been the one to steal the test. And they won't expel him if he gives you up. How do you know that? I watch Law and Order. I'm not an idiot. You'll never turn me in. But you feel guilty. I am guilty. So you want to turn yourself in? They'll fail me. But I still have a 3 8. You know, there's no way Harvard rescinds my acceptance. <laughs> that goddamn kid. I guess I know where you come down on this. Oh, he's an asshole in the making, no question about it. But? After you lost your mom and dad, the Evanses offered to take you in. They offered because that little boy cried all night for a month. He begged them. I, I'm not saying he's the same kid anymore, but that kid is in there. Sir, I know you offered Trevor Evans a way to avoid expulsion. Well, the reason he didn't take it is he was trying, he was trying to protect me. He's the one who sold the test, but I'm the one who took it. So please do not punish him for his loyalty to me. Truth is, with the way his grades are, I don't think it'll matter anyway. So I'll tell you what. I'm not going to expel your friend. <sighs> uh, thank you, sir. There's I just was... one thing. You're his roommate. And you scored perfectly on that test. I knew it was you. I also know you're only sitting here in front of my face because you think whatever I do to you won't matter. No, sir, that's not true. Well, I, let I me just... tell you what is true. You little piece of shit. The young woman you sold the test to was my daughter. They're demanding my resignation. And as my last official act, I'm expelling you from this school. And then, I'm gonna call Harvard. Believe me when I tell you, you're never going there. Hey. Hey. What's that? This is my way of showing you that no matter what you choose, I support you. If your dream is to go to Stanford, then that's my dream for you, too. How does it look? I have to admit, it looks pretty good. So what changed your mind? You got into Harvard? It's, uh, it's a long story, but I have to go right now. I wanted to be here when you got home. But if you let me, I'd like to come straight back here and tell you the whole thing. Okay. Okay.